Warning, the Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and lots of psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers and Geekers? Chris the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? We're going to be looking at a trailer for a new game. Well, it's not a new game, but you know what I mean. A game for the Amico that we haven't truly seen full spectrum on. We've seen it in a gameplay trailer. Trailer. <laughs> um, but we watched it last night. Uh, Open Every Box had a, had his Wednesday night Amico All Access stream, and I was I was proud to be a part of that yesterday. Um, and we watched it and spoke upon it last night. But I discovered something last night by pure mistake. And apparently other people have figured it out too. But chose until today to talk to you about it. One of the topics we were going to talk about last night was more about the Golden Ticket. Uh, we talked yesterday on my channel about it opening up prizes on the 15th and all kinds of fun stuff that's going to happen. So I had it ready to go while we were talking. And it got a little too close to my phone. And when that happens... A website opens up. So we're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about that as well as watching the trailer for Cloudy Mountain. And why are we putting the two together? Well, because you hit this little button here, and that's exactly what it brings up. It's just a nifty little Easter egg to say, hey, if you found this, congratulations. Um, I chose not to speak upon it last night because I had had enough content already. Three videos yesterday. And one I had to wait until midnight to upload because I just felt that was only right. Plus, I had heard someone had, had, had uploaded a video and Tommy, you know, he was just like, oh, well, can you hold on until I at least get the video up tomorrow? And the guy respectfully uh, took the video down. I'm sure it's up now. Anyway, so without me whining anymore, I got a couple announcements or whatever I want to say at the end of this video. So stick around for that. But let's watch the trail over Cloudy Mountain, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Again, we watched this last night without sound, though. And this is the first time I'm seeing it in full. Looks cool. A lot of talks of Gauntlet were coming up last night. Gauntlet would be an amazing series to bring back. Oh, shit. Wow, this game sounds fucking evil. I hope you can hear that. All right, very cool. That should be everything. Here we go. Amico! Here it is. Amico. <laughs> I want to know whose kid that is. It's cute. It's wicked cute. So there it is. Cloudy Mountain. It looks great. I don't have a lot of history with Advanced Dungeons & Dragons. I believe that's the game that this is modeled after, but the license isn't there to call it that. Um, but it looks great. It looks fun. Uh, it looks wicked. <laughs> it looks evil. And uh, I think that's that's pretty synonymous with Dungeons and Dragons. I grew up during the Satanic Panic. I grew up during the Satanic Panic, and uh, I remember Dungeons and Dragons getting getting a, a heavy dose of from the from the Christians. You know, I grew up in a Christian. My dad was a minister. I don't remember any of that. I don't remember any of that in my house. I remember my dad warning me about the music I wanted to listen to. When you bring home a Slayer album, of course, your minister father is going to say a thing or twelve about it. You know what I mean? But he was actually pretty cool, not to go into a religious thing, but my dad was the kind of guy that would sit down with you and say, look, here's what the Bible's got to say, kid, about this particular thing. I can give you the tools, but you got to build the house. So I'm giving you I'm giving you everything you need. You do with it what you need to do. And my dad was cool that way. But regardless, okay, so there was Cloudy Mountain. The cards activated for some fun stuff, and I can't wait for the 15th. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun, even if I don't win anything. It's still gonna be really fun to tap my phone and do all kinds of nifty stuff. And it was kind of fun how I figured it out. I literally put the stuff down because we were gonna talk about it, and then my phone opened up an Amico page. I'm like, and I'm getting I'm getting pretty excited. So guys, I want to know what you think. But before we finish this video, those two things I want to speak about. Yes, I know Pat and Ian had a video about the Amico. Um, I don't follow them, nor do I care to. So, unless there's something specifically that they've said, timestamp it for me and let me know where to go. Um, but other than that, I'm really, I'm not interested in hearing what they have to say. I don't care. I don't care. I think their their delivery is gross. I mean, I'm a prick, but at least I try to have fun with it, and I'm realistic. But 
I, and I hear Ian has a man bun now, so I just can't take them any more serious than I ever did in the past. So thank you to everyone who let me know that existed. Uh, I was aware of it, but it's just, unless, again, unless you want me to uh, speak on something very specific within what they were talking about, and you give me an idea where it is in the video, I'm not going to go to the channel. I'm not going to. I'm not going to click on the video, and I'm most certainly not going to listen to what they have to say. Last, if you've gotten this far, please, 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 please understand one thing. It's going to sound like a gripe, but it really isn't. It's more of a. It's more of a, a request. I'm asking you from the bottom of my heart that if you're going to comment, please have watched the video or comment on something that. I have said that you've heard, okay? If you only watch a little of the video, that's fine with me. I get some of these videos along, and some people just don't want to sit through it. I get it, believe me. A lot of videos I watch, I have to do while I'm doing the dishes. I put the headphones on, and it's kind of a background thing, and I absorb it that way. But I made three videos yesterday, oddly enough, which is rare for me, uh, which is a heavy news day, I suppose. And I got, I think it was 11 comments Telling me something I had said within the video. They weren't expanding on it. And they weren't asking more of it. They literally said almost verbatim what I had said. And that's fine with me. I have no problem with that. My biggest gripe with it. And please understand that it, it's, it's, it's for your benefit. Um, I take getting back to you guys very seriously. And it's been a real struggle of mine lately to do that. Uh, my channel has passed a thousand views and there's more people over here because of the Amico and the Atari VCS. And I, I can't be any more grateful for both of these news topics and for bringing people over. Uh, and I, I genuinely look forward to all feedback from you guys, regardless of what it is. So since you took the time to watch the video and leave some kind of feedback or some kind of anything... I really take it serious that I want to at least get back to you to say thank you at the very least. To expand on it, answer a question, add to it, maybe say I disagree, maybe say I agree 100%. Maybe just a quick little ha ha ha, I liked your comment. But that's been getting hotter and hotter. And that's why I'm bringing up the whole please watch the video or comment on something that you have seen or heard. Because I got 11 comments saying pretty much the exact same thing on something I had said in the video. And it's frustrating when I'm trying to get back to people and I have to respond to people saying, yeah, I said that. I said that. I'm not doing it to be a prick. I love each and every one of you. I really do. Even the ones that don't like me. I love all of you. And that's all there is to it. Guys, I hope you're having a great week. One more day. And for a lot of people, they don't even have to go to work tomorrow, the 4th of July. I hope everyone had a great Canada Day. I wish all my Canadian friends that uh, privately. But I hope you all had a great Canada Day. We're going to be celebrating the 4th here on Saturday. I'm going to be up in New Hampshire at my sister's joint. Blowing shit up. I'm going to dip my balls in her pool. I don't drink much, so I probably won't have a beer. Um, but I hope you guys have a safe and fourth, safe and happy 4th of July. Guys, thank you always so much for watching. I can't say that enough. Regardless of my tone or the things I say, I honestly, genuinely can't thank you guys enough for taking the time to come over here. Even if it is to poke fun. I fucking love it. Guys, I hope you're doing well. And like I said, please, please be safe this weekend. Accidents don't take holidays. They don't. And I want to see you here back Monday. I'll probably be back before Monday, but you know what I'm saying. With a little bit more from the Atari Creep. I'm almost starting to sound like those cliche channels, you know. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and ding that bell right up its balls. And I'm done with the video, guys. Thank you so much. Take care. Creep it real. Fucking always creep it real. And bye-bye. I love you.